Hi everybody, today we're gonna go through the installation process of the Zoe, Saremo Zoe Espresso Machine. So the, rec the prerequisite of the Zoe to connect it is, first of all, you wanna make sure it's connected to the water, to the power, to the drain connection, the filter is being uh, perched, uh, the pump is pushing at the right, um, uh, at the right pressure, and then uh, we're gonna, once the machine is on, we're gonna purge the groups and also uh, check the output of, of uh, water coming from the groups. So the water connection, you have to make sure obviously that uh, the, is a tight to a 3 8 compression uh, with a quarter inch turn shut off. And uh, you slowly turn the water on and hear the flow of the water. So the second thing is you want to connect it to the power. Make sure that uh, you're following the right specs uh, of uh, instruction booklet. The next step is to make sure that the, the drain is connected properly with the right flex hose that the machine came with. Also remember that um, before you connect uh, the uh, machine to the drain line, you have to have the tube connected to the, to the machine. And the connection is the drain collector underneath the drip tray. There's a little screw that holds it. You just uh, uh, remove the drain collector, pass the tube through the opening underneath the machine. And then with this metal strap that we supply, tie the tube to the collectors. And that's all you need. The first, the fourth uh, thing that you have to make sure is that uh, the filter system is being purged. This is very important because uh, if you're using a carbon filter, uh, carbon does get loose in transportation and cannot go into the system of the machine. Otherwise, it would clog vital components like the valves, for example, or even even the, the pump, which are very expensive uh, uh, components. So make sure that you purge 15 to 20 liters of water. Uh, every time you also change the filter, not only at the installation. So the next thing, once the water is connected and everything is properly flowing, uh, you want to check the gauge that it actually you have a reading of pressure in the machine, which should be above the three bars, but not exceeding the six bars. At this point, we can turn the machine on, and this is very important, the machine needs to be turned at uh, number one on the switch, on the main power switch, number one, and that's the startup process. Now that the machine is on, what you want to hear is the pump activating. You should be able to read on the gauge that it actually the pressure should be going towards uh, uh, nine bars, more or less. Now this is the machine filling. It will take a few minutes. If the machine goes over the two minutes of filling and is not able to fill, it means uh, uh, the machine is going to shut itself down and think that there is not water go, not enough water going through. So in, to not let the element uh, blow up the machine shuts itself uh, down. So at this point, you would need to turn the machine dial to zero, wait for about five seconds, and then turn it back on to one, and wait now that it starts filling. If the needle it is hovering around nine, uh, the machine should be actually filling. It could be that it's very, very dry. Uh, internally, there was like very little water and it took longer than two minutes to get to the sensor to tell the machine, yes, I've reached the, the amount of water that I, I need. Uh, so if that happened, that is the reason why we shut it off and then turn it back on and let it uh, fill again. If on the second fill, the machine still goes into alarm so all the lights will be flashing that means that the water is not flowing through so you need to check the machine or call us uh, for more details so now the machine is on 
it's full with uh, with water now you want to start uh, purging uh, the groups so you press the continuous button on group one and you press the continuous button on group two to make sure that uh, all the air that is inside the heat exchanger gets expelled from the system and the machine can uh, eventually start heating up so after you run the water from the group for about uh, 10 seconds then uh, you can um, turn the machine from one to uh, setting number two this means that the machine now is going to start heating up Now the machine is set to two, which is uh, the, the switch number that uh, you're always going to leave the machine at to operate it so that the machine is heating up uh, all the time. Now it's going to take about 30 minutes for the machine to reach its uh, ultimate pressure uh, to make steam and uh, the, the heat exchanger should be at the right temperature as well. So after these 30 minutes, uh, the machine is uh, ready to go. What does that mean? It means that uh, the steam pressure is uh, between 1.2 and 1.4 bar, and the water pressure on idling is uh, between three and six bar. If the pressure uh, stays uh, above six, uh, six and about six, we're gonna need to install a pressure um, regulator to bring the pressure down a little bit. So at this point, you would need to contact us uh, for the next step. So at this point, uh, the actual time for the machine to come to temperature so that all components has, have retained uh, heat uh, is about two hours. So that means that the, the group head uh, needs to fully be hot. Like just the heat exchanger to come to temperature means that after you make a coffee, as the cold water is entering the heat exchanger, it's gonna drop in temperature quickly because all the other components has, haven't, be, haven't got to temperature uh, yet. So two hours for total temperature of the whole machine. Now, before the two hours, you can still test the steam, which you should test the steam, make sure that there's a good flow, maybe steam some milk, and also make uh, some coffees to make sure you got a you know a pretty good extraction. Before the two hours, your coffee might tend to be a little bit on the blondish side, just because, as we just said, the temperature is still hasn't reached its ultimate uh, uh, level yet. Thank you for watching, and if you have any question, please call us at 1-855-292-2233 or send us an email at info at sanremocanada.com. Thank you.